Hi there, my name is Conor Buck and welcome to my channel. Uh, this is a film review of Leviathan. Um, it was actually recommended to me by one of my subscribers. Um, it was Entertainment Extended. So I finally watched it. And so here's my review for it anyways. As I suggested, as I said I was going to do. So there you go. So um, it's a adventure horror mystery sci-fi thriller. I suppose most of those are actually quite quite close. Uh, it's at 18 rated, uh, an hour and 38 minutes. Amazon is, well, the rating I got was about a 4.5 out of 5, because that's for the DVD, you can't actually watch it on Prime. Um, I couldn't find it anywhere else, so I ended up watching it on, um, on YouTube. Uh, I'll put the link down below, so you can have a look at it if you want to. Um, and IMDB is a rating of 5.8. Um, so I read the Amazon, uh, sorry, the IMD synopsis. Perched on the hull of a wrecked Soviet freighter, a team of deep sea miners led by head oceanographer Stephen Beck comes face to face with a mutant creature that's the product of a failed genetic experiment. Kind of. Um, so the director is George P. Cosmatos, C O S M A T O S, who directed Rambo First Blood 2. Producers, there's five of them, so I picked the two main ones. Um, I'm not even going to say the first name. It's A U R E L I O De Laurentiis, who produced Festival, and Luigi Luigi L U I G I De Laurentiis did Knights of Kabira. Um, music was Jerry Goldsmith, who or did music for The Mummy. Now the cast, I've, I've, normally I sort of split them out and don't do them all, but for this one I thought I'd do them all because they're, they're all down, down in, the, in, the, in the depths of, of the war. So we have Peter Weller, who was Stephen Beck, who was known for Robocop. Richard Krenner, C-R-E-N-N-A, who was Doc, and he was in First Blood, the Rambo film. Amanda Pays, P-A-Y-S, who was Elizabeth Willy Will Williams, and she was in Max Headroom. Daniel Stern, who was Buzz Six Pack Parish, was in Home Alone. Ernie Hudson, who was Justin Jones, was in Ghostbusters. Michael Carmine, who was Tony De Jesus Rodeo, was in Band of the Hand. Lisa Eilbacher, E I L B A C H E R, was Bridget. B -b Boonen? I can't remember her name. Bridget, anyway. And she was in Beverly Hills Cop. Hector Elizondo, E L I Z O N D O, who was G P Cobb, was in Pretty Woman. And Meg Ryan, who was Ms. Martin, and she was in They Live. Uh, it was filmed in the Adriatic Sea, Malta, Gulf of Mexico, and Italy. There you go. So it starts off with ominous music, you know, kind of a bit like Jaws kind of stuff, but then the nice violin kicks in, then it's a bit more upbeat, so it's kind of interesting. Um, so there's a picture, there's a lovely blue sea, there's a bubble floating up from the from the depths, then we see some fish and some lovely rocks. This is all while the credits are going up, so you know it's in the sea. Um, so it looks like it's a mining company deep onto the Atlantic, so it's kind of cut off. So that, that's, that, you, you find this out at the very beginning. So not even 10 minutes in, there's tension already. So some dude's oxygen went low. I can't remember whose it was. I think it was, um, it was Jesus. What's his name? Michael Carmine to Jesus. Um, so his, his oxygen went low. So they're racing to get in the inside because he's wearing this kind of diving suit that you would wear uh, like the old days when you go down with a, an oxygen thing. But of course they don't have the, the, the tube. It's a bit more advanced these days. So they're down to do the drilling on the last three days, but Six Pack, um, who was uh, Daniel Stern, um, fell down a hole. Um, so Lisa, who was Bridget Bowman, um, is trying to find him. She's looking for him, and she's walking through these kind of tube worms. So they're about six feet floating high from the ground. And I was like, what the hell are they? I mean, this is on the Atlantic. You know, 
the Atlantic. And apparently then they said, oh, they're tube worms. I thought, hmm, I would never have known. Um, no, actually, it's Amanda Pays who was walking down there, not Lisa. Sorry about that. Um, so, of course, you can see the old love connection starting up, you know. Williams and Weller's characters. Uh, that's Beck and um, Williams. Um, I've been chatting. Music change or something romantic. And that kind of stuff. Oh, my God. Come on. So, I'm really getting into the film and... and <laughs> So the, the creature thing hasn't appeared yet, uh, without giving anything away. But anyway, so um, the doc took a, a skin flake from a spot on a guy's neck. And I'm not going to tell you who it is, because it'll give it away as such. But um, it was the best microscope I've ever seen in my life. Bear in mind it was filmed when... I didn't actually say when it was, sorry about that. It was 1989. <laughs> Normally I say when it is. It came out in 1989. So um takes a skin flake from this guy's neck. He looks at it, comes up with loads of numbers, some polygon models, and a strand of something with polygons falling off. And I thought, wow, that of a flake of skin? Pretty impressive. We don't even have that nowadays. At least I don't think we do, anyway. Um, so, I saw the creature as such. Um, it's kind of morphing of two bodies. Now, I've seen a film called Society years and years ago. Um... If you've ever seen it, you'll know what I mean. If not, watch it. You'll see what I mean. It's bizarre as anything is the film. I'm just jumping sideways here, but society is just completely bizarre. But it's it's got that kind of morphing of people. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so the, the, the two dead people were attacked, and I'm not exactly sure how. I know how they were, because I could, I could tell eventually but it was you know I'm not going to say why because I'm not spoiling anything um, now the creature has eventually attacked um, Doc I think it was uh, no one Doc it was somebody else sorry about that they, keep, they all, all did more or less dropped off the face of the earth or the, 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 the water but anyway he got into this guy pretty quick I mean he was in his stomach within seconds um, and it wasn't going through his mouth it was pretty, pretty good actually um, so they're talking to the main boss, who was Meg Ryan. Now, I'm sorry, Meg Foster. Now, her eyes, I, I don't know if it's just me, they've, she's got this, these piercing eyes. Um, the, anyway, so she, they're talking to her on the surface. <laughs> so, obviously, she's like saying, oh, you know, we'll come back to you later, we'll, we'll get there. You know, they were running around for the thing. And it, well, I don't think it was supposed to be funny, but um, she's, she's talking, and, and uh, Peter Weller's there, Stephen Beck. And um, Ernie Hudson, who was in uh, Ghostbusters, is there. And uh, she says, um, OK, it's going to be 48 hours. And she, he's like, what? And he goes, I know you realise you you must have gone through hell. And then he replies and says, gone, bitch, we're still here. <laughs> I, thought, I thought that was quite funny when she was just like, well, try and get some sleep, and then he, he was like, I can't sleep, and then she just, tur you know, turned the monitor off, and he was just like, what the hell? But it was it was typical corporatism sort of managers, oh, we don't care about you, all we care about is money, sort of thing, and it's like, you sods, but it was just that bit, bitch, we're still here. <laughs> um, so, like I say, it cracked me up, I had to pause it and rewatch it again, it was a hilarious bit. Um, overall, the film was great. I was I, Normally, I review a lot of I say B movies. I say films that are a bit, you know, crap rating or good rating but still crap, um, or good old films that are people never really seen before. You know, I watch watch all sorts. So it's quite nice to be suggesting to watch something a bit different than I did. Um, it was a good film. Creature was good. The special effects and all that lot were good. The music worked for all the scenes, you know, it wasn't like overpowering or anything like that. I think there was a couple of times when you couldn't hear much, but uh, it was kind of in the background. I mean, Jerry Goldsmith, I mean, he's, he's one of the people you think about when you think of soundtracks. There's him and there's a couple of others as well. Um, the characters were good, you know. Uh, overall, I liked him. Now, I'll actually give it a 7. Because I'm feeling quite generous. 5.8, no. 7. It was a good, good film. I enjoyed it. 
and I think if you enjoy film, why not? Um, but uh, yeah, it was quite good. Apparently the lead creature I'm just reading here was Tom Woodruff Jr. Um, I didn't know the creature actually moved around, but they <laughs> maybe it did. Um, but yeah, a yeah, good film, good film. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed listening and watching the uh, this film review of Leviathan. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. It helps my channel grow if you do. Um, apparently if you click the old bell button, that's better. I don't know. Um, give me the old thumbs up if you liked this video. Leave a comment in the comment box below if you watched this. Did you enjoy it? Um, I can see some similarities between certain other films that I've seen. It kind of reminded me a little bit of Alien. Not the fact that it was underwater, because Alien isn't underwater, but there were certain things that happened in Alien that happened in this, in the way that it was done. Um, but yeah, yeah, it was it was a very good film. Um, yeah, like I say I've got plenty of the film reviews, I mostly concentrate on gaming, but I have sort of dabbled into film reviews, so I've got plenty there, so you can have a look at the playlist if you want to for that. Okay, well, thank you and goodbye. <laughs>